Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Managing Subscription Products with Salesforce CPQ video series. This is part four, and today we're going to cover proration within sales, inside Salesforce CPQ. My name is Miles Sims. I head up our Revenue Cloud practice here at Demand Blue and work with our clients on driving success in the quote to cash process, primarily through Salesforce CPQ and building implementations. And today, here are a few of the things we're going to cover. We're going to talk, just an, give an overview of subscription proration within CPQ. We're going to talk about how proration is evaluated uh, at the different record and line levels. We're going to go over the CPQ settings and then walk through a few of the common settings uh, and some examples of those settings within CPQ. And as always, we're going to use our fictitious uh, SpaceFlix service, streaming service in outer space. So quickly, let's talk a little bit about quote line evaluation. And this is the way that the proration is evaluated and applied to your quote within CPQ. There's a hierarchy, um, and this comes from a great help article, which we'll include the link within the video description. But there's a hierarchy in a way that this is evaluated. The three records that are under consideration are our quote line, our quote line group, and the quote itself. And we're going to be looking at start date, end date, and subscription term. And you can see here in the slide that we're going to start at quote line and move across to quote line group to quote start date and end date being considered first. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, subscription term being considered last. So the example from the help article um, here is we've got you know some conflicting start date information, multiple subscription terms. But based on the evaluation order in this example, we're going to consider the start date of 1 1 2020 and then the end date of 12 1 2020. So basically, we'll be ignoring the start dates at the quote line group and the quote level, and then ignoring the subscription terms because we have an end date at the quote level. So this is just an example of, of how those evaluations happen and can help with some troubleshooting sometimes as well and determining what fields you want to put um, and surface at each level. As we jump over into the, the Salesforce CPQ settings, um, you know, the package settings, this is where we can set our subscription term unit, which we covered in a previous video, and now our subscription pro rate precision setting. So for day, it's pretty simple. Uh, day subscription term unit filters down to only allow day pro rate precision. Uh, this is less common than month, which we'll look at here in a bit. So month, there's quite a few options. With month, we still have day. We have calendar monthly plus daily. We have proration day of month. And we're not going to cover this option uh, in this video as it pertains mainly to Salesforce billing, which you know, hopefully we'll cover in a future video. And then we have day with calendar month weighted month and month plus daily. So we'll, we'll dump, jump into those here now. So starting off with day-based proration, Subscription term is day, which we just took a look at, and our pr proration precision is one day. In our SpaceFlix uh, subscription example here, we've got an annual subscription of $200. So really straightforward. Our subscription starts tomorrow, February 1st, 2022, and it's a renewable subscription. It's a $200 flat fee. So, you know, this is, this is subscription proration and our term are kind of behind the scenes right now. Uh, one thing to note when we have day and day is that CPQ will use 366 days for leap years. Um, if you're, even if your term doesn't inc include the leap day, what that means is when it's calculating the uh, precision multiplier, which will be on your quote line record, uh, it's going to consider the 366 days to calculate that. So here's just an example. We've, we've taken that same quote and now we have reduced our overall time frame to you know, be a shorter quote. You can see that here in the end date on the quote record. And so now with our quantity of one, so we just have one subscription, $200, we've got our pro rate multiplier. And so we're at 1644. So about a two and a half month subscription. And you can kind of, we won't get into to doing all the math here, but you can see how um, on the back end, it's basically dividing that you know, by 366 days in this example um, and calculating the price. So if we jump to month, 
now um, you know, on the back end, we've gone back into our settings and changed from day to month on our subscription term and then proration precision day with calendar month weighted. So in this example, um, CPQ will not consider the leap day if your term does not include it. Uh, meaning, so here that our term would actually include it because we're starting, um, if this was a leap year, which I think 2020 was the last leap year, um, 2022. But in this case, you know, we're not, it, it's not there. It's not a leap year. If it was a leap year, it would consider it. So it <clears throat> takes into consideration um, those that additional leap year day. Um, and one thing, <laughs> since this doesn't happen very often, is you can tell CPQ, let's just go ahead and ignore leap days because we don't want to mess with that. So uh, that is a setting. You will notice that some of the options on this screen and settings change depending on what pro rate precision method you choose. So just be aware of that as you're configuring CPQ. So moving now into month-based proration, we've got our uh, subscription term as well a month. We've got pro rate precision as a month, and this is really straightforward. It's a it's a one to one. So even a partial month. So we've got ten days here. Our quote starts in February first. We've got ten a week. Our subscription term, I mean, and goes into May tenth. But with month to month, we're just going to count that as one month, whether it's the 10th, the first or the last day of the month, it's a one to one. Um, so it's a really easy calculation. We've got four months, February to May. And then we've got a quantity of one, and that's going to give us, you know, a total of 66, 67. So pretty straightforward uh, calculation. You know, this from a financial perspective is going to give you the most um, you know, money associated with the subscription fee associated with that partial month because it's considering it a whole month. When we go into month plus daily, what we're going to do now in this example is we're actually going to consider those you know, those 10 days and treat it like 10 days. Um, it's a little more um, math involved in the calculation, but we've got three months, February through April. And then we're going to calculate, we're going to calculate down to, you know, that, that precise um, value for those 10 days within May and then charge accordingly. So here you can see our subscription total uh, based on the prorated amount has dropped down to 5548. Um, whereas in our previous slide, you know, we were at 6667. So you can see the difference in the total, how that's calculated uh, on the quote based on that, the consideration change for month plus daily and proration. Now we have calendar month plus daily. So basically we're doing what we just reviewed on the back end. We're gonna do that here on the front end too. So you now we're gonna calculate the specific days on the front, the first month, the starting month. And then we're gonna calculate, calculate the specific days on the last month, the ending month. And then the month in, months in between will be considered whole months. So, you know, this is if you're signing up um, people on specific days within your within your subscription business model. Um, this allows again for that precision for if they sign up on the 15th, then we're going to start them on the 15th and maybe, you know, more than likely end on the 15th and you know, however, however long down the road uh, that subscription term lasts. But this runs the same calculation now here in this example, we have 28 days in February. So, you know, it's still a whole month, but it's going to go ahead and calculate that. And then we're going to calculate our 10 days in May, like we, we did previously, and we'll get to our, our price there. And, and, you know, in that example, we can tell there's only about a 10 cent difference, but, you know, as we learned in office space, um, you know, those small amounts can, can add up. So and this is really important, you know, here, we've just got one example quote line, but if there's hundreds of quote lines and different subscription products related to, uh, you know, different products, then you know, it could have a pretty big impact on that, that total value. All right. That was a quick overview of uh, proration precision within within Salesforce CPQ. Um, next up, we're going to talk a little bit about renewals and amendments. Thanks for your time. <laughs>